WPS, or Wi-Fi Protected Setup, is designed for easy device connections but has security vulnerabilities. Spectrum increasingly disables it by default, pushing users towards app-based or WPA3 encrypted setups. The three core mechanisms are push button method, which activates a short window for devices to connect, pin method, where devices enter an eight digit pin from the router's admin panel or app, and the app method, using Spectrum's mobile app for remote enablement. Enabling WPS doesn't alter core Wi-Fi 6 features, it's merely a setup shortcut. For example, the Spectrum Sagemcom Fast 5688AC or TP-Link Archer AX73 support WPS. Proceed with caution due to potential security risks, as highlighted by experts like those at Kaspersky, who suggest pairing with VPNs for IoT devices. Before enabling WPS on your Spectrum Wi-Fi 6 router, ensure the router is powered on, connected to the internet, and not in guest mode. Many Spectrum routers ship with WPS disabled by default, so you may need to contact Spectrum support or use their app to enable it first. If your Spectrum router has a physical WPS button, Press it to activate a two-minute window for device connections. During this time, attempt to connect your device using its WPS feature. For the PIN method, access your router's settings via a web browser or the Spectrum app. Navigate to the WPS section, generate or view the eight-digit PIN, and enter it on your device to connect. The recommended method is using the Spectrum app. Download the app on your smartphone, log in, go to Router Settings, Advanced, WPS, and follow the prompts to enable and connect devices securely. Looking ahead, WPS is shifting to app and AI-assisted setup, with Spectrum's app using AI to auto-detect needs. By 2030, WPS will be phased out, replaced by protocols like DPP. Spectrum plans to sunset WPS in 2027 firmware updates, pushing WPA3 SAE for safer connections. A recent survey showed 62% of Spectrum users enabled WPS at least once, but 78% disable it post-setup due to security concerns.